Right now, what was set to be a historic space mission from Boeing being scrubbed Saturday when it could eventually take off is coming up. Plus, a massive solar project in Grant County was completed this week. We get a tour with the project's lead and what area residents think about the site. And we have a foggy Sunday morning ahead of us. Blazes in this morning as we wake up with some dense fog across much of southern Wisconsin. You'll time it out as Week of Mornings begins. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kyle Bzorski. It is Sunday, June 2nd. Comedian Dana Carvey turns 69 today. Let's take a look outside this morning. Blaze Keller is here. Blaze, welcome to Weekend Mornings. Glad <laughs> you're here you. with us this morning. Uh, what are we looking at outside at this moment? Uh, as you mentioned uh, uh, just a few seconds ago, really, that fog. It's quiet on the radar across not only southern Wisconsin, but for those of us up north in St. La Crosse. We are continuing to watch as a, a weak area of low pressure begins to move off of the Rockies, but it's going to hold off on that rain chance until later overnight into your Monday. If you're up early with us, temperature in the upper 50s to low 60s this morning. A little bit cooler towards Camp Douglas and Black River Falls. We're in those low 50s, taking it in closer to Dane County. Again, upper 50s to low 60s waking up on the Sunday morning. A lot of Wisconsin is underneath this dense fog advisory through 9 o'clock this Sunday morning. Let's take a look at those current visibilities down to about a half mile, if not a quarter mile or less, especially around La Crosse, Wisconsin Dells, Camp Douglas, Black River Falls, even into Bosco Bell along the Wisconsin River at about a quarter mile visibility or less. So if you do have to hit the roads this morning, please make sure that you are driving carefully because this dense fog isn't really expected to lift until about nine, if not maybe even slightly later than that. But as we look ahead through the rest of your Sunday lacrosse, we're going to be headed back into those 70s with clouds increasing throughout the day. Same with those of us in Madison starting out in the 60s about 10 o'clock. We'll eventually top out in those mid to upper 70s to low 80s with those winds eventually turning out of the south. We do have two alert days in the extended forecast. We're going to track out not only when we could see those alert days, but also what threats come with those alert days. That's coming up later on in this half hour. All right, Blaze, thank you. We'll check back in just a bit. To our top stories now, the historic launch of Boeing Starliner spacecraft was scrubbed on Saturday. NASA says an automatic hold was triggered by the computer, which launches the rocket. The stop the clock uh, down at 3 minutes and 50 seconds ahead of the launch. The cause of the automatic hold has not been made clear. Those hopeful to see the Starliner lift off this weekend, waking up this morning, disappointed as the next launch opportunity for later today has also been canceled. The next possible days are Wednesday and Thursday. Here in Madison, June Dairy Month kicked off Saturday with cows on the concourse at the Dane County Farmers Market. Dane County Dairy took to the Capitol Square to give people a chance to get to know anything they wanted about cows and the farmers which make the dairy state so great. Sydney Flick is a Lodi dairy farmer and a volunteer at this year's Cows on the Concourse event. We get to see such fun interaction, whether that's a, a kid getting to see a cow for the first time or an adult, and people make those connections. In total, the Wisconsin dairy industry brings in more than $45 billion per year to the state economy. This year's theme for cows on the concourse was Cowabunga Let's Party. That's super fun. Also yesterday in La Crosse, the 12th annual Kids Free Fishing Day took place at Chad Erickson Memorial Park. With rods, reels, and bait provided, children of all ages were given the opportunity to immerse themselves in the joys of outdoor activities. The event was organized by the Union Sportsmen's Alliance and a total of 125 kids and parents participated. And it's a good reminder, if you're looking to get outside this weekend, you can do so on a budget. Wisconsin State Parks are free to visit today. Uh, the DNR advertising this weekend as free fun weekend, meaning vehicles without a state park emission sticker are allowed into state parks for free. Fishing licenses are also being waived. To an update now, over the past two years, Alliant Energy has been working to build out its largest solar array to date in Grant County. This past week, we got an inside look at the completed project and how Alliant says the site adds to their work to diversify their energy resources. Aerial footage shows the impressive scale of the 1,400 acres worth of solar fields north of Potosi. Until you see one of these sites, uh, you don't really realize how uh, how impressive it is. At 200 megawatts and with more than 430,000 panels, the Grant County Solar Project is Alliance's largest array to date. The utility began construction in September of 2022, completing work this past month. 
Giving me a tour is Tim Kreft, a senior manager of strategic projects at Alliant. I could talk about solar all, on, 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 all day. He tells me the work done here means a lot to all involved. Getting to completion on the last one uh, is really a milestone for the company. It's a milestone for me personally as well. Standing on what used to be fields owned by local farmers for decades, and some even for more than a century, Kreft tells me the work not only creates more renewable energy, but also helps out area landowners. This is done through acquiring leases with those landowners, each lasting roughly 30 years. Alliance says this supplies a steady stream of money during that time. Once the lease expires, Alliant is obligated to then remove the panels, return the land to the owners, who can then decide to farm again or use for other purposes. And he says this helps those farmers who may have begun to see smaller yields as well as others looking to retire. Instead of uh, growing crops and getting paid for growing crops, they're getting paid for growing uh, solar energy. The move has been met with praise by some and dismay by others. Participating landowner Dave Fritz says he's seen the benefits of the project firsthand, helping landowners diversify their income. Meanwhile, county board member Lester Jansen is not as sold. Seems like they only can take out the prime crop ground, and that concerns me down the road. Because if they take out too much of our prime crop ground, this uh, country could get a little hungry. While the feedback hasn't all been good, Kreft says his hope is aligned will work to build the trust of the skeptics through good business practices, knowing they intend to be around for many years to come. And we expect to be in business for another 100 years. That means we try to be very good stewards of the land and, and stewards of the communities that we serve. Alliant additionally tells us work to build the Grant County Array employed more than 700 workers, adding to the economic impact created by the project. Now to some other news that we're following this morning. First, a national network of local news sites has been relying on artificial intelligence to report stories and it's causing some experts to sound the alarm. Hoodline bills itself as a national news network offering in-depth reporting from major cities across the country. But according to a CNN report, last year the news outlet began uh, filling its site with AI-generated articles that carry fake bylines. Experts warn that relying too heavily on the AI uh, threatens to diminish the public's trust in news. Moving on to campaign 2024 coverage, First Lady Jill Biden is continuing her work to campaign for her husband. It was in Milwaukee on Friday where she delivered remarks at Festa Italiana. While speaking, the First Lady was interrupted about six times by pro-Palestinian protesters in the crowd. Each time a protester started yelling, the crowd began chanting four more years in her defense showing a sharp contrast between those in attendance. My husband, President Biden, is working to build on what this community has accomplished and help us and all communities. It was on Friday when President Biden announced a new ceasefire proposal by Israel. However, their prime minister isn't budging at this time. Following his historic criminal conviction in a New York courtroom, former President Donald Trump went to the Octagon last night attending a UFC fight in Newark, New Jersey. This presidential election is in uncharted territory with the first debate between Trump and Biden just a few weeks away. Bradley Blackburn has the latest. It wasn't a political rally, but former President Trump found a warm welcome last night at a UFC fight in New Jersey. President Trump, you're the man, bro. It is a damn travesty what they're doing to you. MMA fighter Sean Strickland taking a selfie with Trump in his first public appearance since a jury found him guilty of criminal charges. He's vowed to fight the conviction and continues to try to undermine the integrity of the process with baseless claims. They are in total conjunction with the White House and the DOJ, just so you understand. President Biden is in Delaware this weekend, but criticized Trump Friday. It's reckless. It's dangerous. It's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. That verdict showing the deep division in Congress. This is weaponization and lawfare at its peak. This was our tried and true criminal justice system playing out. And on the streets, some celebrating, others protesting with upside down flags. But the question is how voters will react in battlegrounds that may swing the presidential election. Some voters say their views are already set. I'm very happy that they get convicted. Well, I'm still voting for Donald Trump. I think this whole thing has been a mockery. President Biden and former President Trump are scheduled to face off on a debate stage June 27th. 
Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. As far as money goes, former President Trump's campaign says it raised more than $50 million in the 24 hours after the guilty verdict was handed down. They said one third of donors were new to the campaign. Time is 640, still ahead. Shane Hogan will sit down with Dr. Rupa Shaw for a new health conversation on sunburns. And let's take a look outside this morning at the Capitol building. We got some fog in the forecast this morning. Blaze will have your full forecast just ahead when Weekend Mornings returns. First worn weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Revival Infusion Madison for Best Mental Health Facility. Vote for Revival Infusion Madison online today. After 35 years in business on Madison's West Side, Capital Car Cleaners is celebrating by offering all our customers $10 off an interior or exterior detail or $20 off a full service detail. We detail all cars, pickups, SUVs, motorcycles, and full-size vans. Call today to set up an appointment at our Watts Road location and get $10 off an interior or exterior detail or $20 off a full-service detail. Check out our website at CapitalCarCleaners.com. Capital Car Cleaners, auto detailing at its best. Oh, another morning to savor the crunchy nooks and crannies splendor of a Thomas's English muffin. Tom, which is a nook and which is a cranny? Well, that's a nook, cranny, 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 nook, cranny. I mean, they should be teaching you this in school. Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Beef Butter Barbecue for Best Barbecue, your number one choice for barbecue and catering. Vote online for Beef Butter Barbecue today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Urso Builders for Best Home Builders. Vote for Urso Builders and all your favorites on MadisonMagazine.com. You want it, we got it, it's all here, Rosemont it. You want the night lights, the bright lights, I'll put you in the spotlight light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want sound, well now I'll show you where you gotta be, tell you what you gotta see, who is gonna make you smile. You want it, we got it, it's all here, Rosemont. Summertime fun is in full swing in Rosemont. From grand slams to hot jams to Rosemont at your way, start at Rosemont.com. Rosemont it. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back on this Sunday morning. We are dealing with fog across southern Wisconsin. Dense fog advisories for most of the state through 9 a.m. Then we turn our attention to the start of our next work week. Alert days for both Monday and Tuesday. We're going to track out exactly when those storms move on in and what threats they bring with us here in just a few minutes. But let's take a look at downtown Madison. 60 degrees if you're waking up with us on this Sunday morning. Northwesterly winds are light. This is the reason why we have that fog. Our humidity is at 90% as our dew point just a few degrees shy of where actual temperature is. And of course, that's how you get fog when your temperature and your dew point are the exact same temperature. So once we start to warm on up because our winds aren't looking to be too strong today, as our temperatures pull away from our dew point, that's when that fog will start to lift across southern and really central Wisconsin, and that looks to take place sometime later this morning. But the good news is we are waking up underneath quiet conditions, not a lot in the way on the satellite and radar. If we take it in closer to our friends there in La Crosse, even into southern uh, Minnesota and northeastern Iowa, quiet conditions as well. 
We've got a low pressure system that's going to be moving its way across the Midwest, but it's going to bring with it some weak showers and thunderstorms. It's not very organized, but it also does bring us maybe an isolated threat for a severe thunderstorm as we look to your Monday. We'll track out that here in just a moment, but here's the number of counties across central and southern Wisconsin underneath that dense fog advisory. You can see that that goes until 9 a.m. So if you are going to be hitting the roads, just know that you're going to be running in some into some very dense patches along the Wisconsin Dells area. Black River Falls. Those of us in La Crosse were up to about a quarter mile visibility. Same with us in Bosco Bell along the Wisconsin River. Very dense fog. If you're at a quarter or zero, I really wouldn't be on the roads this morning. And again, we're not expecting that fog to really lift here until about nine o'clock at the earliest as our temperatures continue to linger in those upper 50s to low 60s right now. A little bit cooler in Black River Falls. We're 53 degrees, 57 in Janesville, 57 in Mineral Point. Closing in on Dane County. Again, all of us right around 58, 59 degrees. 60 in Madison, though. Same with those of us in Middleton, Verona, as well as in Cross Plains. Future track through the rest of your Sunday. Quiet conditions. Eventually, the fog and the cloud cover kind of breaks up. We get some sunshine into the afternoon. That allows us to climb into those upper uh, upper 70s, rather, to maybe even a few low 80s. Winds turn out of the south. That brings back the green, which is showers and maybe a clap of thunder, but the best chance for showers and thunderstorms is going to be as we head further into your Sunday night, but really Monday and then again into Tuesday as well as a weak low pressure system moves on through here. We got a marginal risk on Monday and then Tuesday, especially for those of us in lacrosse. We're underneath that marginal risk for mainly wind and hail, but also that chance for maybe an isolated weak tornado as well. So make sure you're staying uh, weather aware as we head into the start of your next work week. Upper 70s to low 80s. Let's take it full screen so folks can see not only the seven day, but the 10 day forecast as well for the Madison area. We're hanging out in those 80s through about Tuesday of next week. And for those of us in La Crosse, a little bit more on the mild side, especially uh, as we go into the middle and end of next week. But take a look at that, folks. After Wednesday, we are quiet both in the Madison area and for those of us in La Crosse as well. All right, Blaze, thank you so much for that. Although it was a bit rainy, families took to downtown Madison Saturday for a few events. Let's talk about them. It includes the Farmer's Market and the 15th Annual Classic Car Show. The car show is always just a fan favorite. Super cool stuff to see there. For roughly six blocks, vintage cars line State Street for all to see drawing admirers. Here's one owner sharing with us his classic uh, bringing out some nostalgia. My car is a 1963 Triumph TR4. And in this collection here, we have a TR3, a TR6 as well today. Awesome to see that kind of stuff. Not only were people able to check out the cars, they were also able to chat with the owners just like him and learn a bit of history about them. Cars on State is organized by the Greater State Street Business Association with support from Madison Central Business Improvement District. And Accessibility Wisconsin kicked off its 10th anniversary celebration with Outdoors Access for All at the William G. Lunny uh, County Park. True to AAW's mission to help people with mobility issues have access to nature, the event featured a wide range of activities for people of all abilities, such as adaptive fishing, kayaking, wildlife photography, hand cycling, and much more. It certainly doesn't really feel like it as we wake up this morning, but the official start of summer is only a few weeks away, and with it brings more and more of those hot days in the sun. In this morning's health conversation, R. Shane Hogan sits down with Dr. Rupa Shaw to talk about ways to keep your skin from getting burnt. Well, summer is the time for beach days, pool parties, and vacations, but before you head outdoors, remember to take care of your skin because too much sun exposure can have some detrimental effects such as sunburn, skin aging, eye damage, and even skin cancer. SSM Health Family Medicine Physician and Wellness Coach Dr. Rupa Shah joins me today to talk about summer skin care. Some good reminders here. So Dr. Shah, what should people look for when choosing a sunscreen? So most people look at, you know, the SPF label, mm -hmm. which is the most common and one of the most important things you should be looking at. You want sure. at least SPF 30 to okay. get a good like 97% protection from the uh, sun rays. However, the other thing you should be looking for is that you want to pick a broad spectrum sunscreen. So that protects you from the UVA and the UVB rays, okay. which are important. So that way you get full coverage from all the different uh, light sources out there. Yeah, and yeah. you know, it's... I don't want to say a trend because it's a health thing, but we hear a lot, especially on social media, 
people should be putting sunscreen on every single day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do you agree with that assessment? And why should people be more concerned than, you know, just maybe putting on their moisturizer for the day? Yeah, so, I mean, even, you know, on cloudy days, there are UVA and UVB rays out there, and you can get some sun damage mm -hmm. even just from that. So it's really important to protect yourself every single day, not just in the summer and sunny days. Right. Um, but it just um, decreases that photo aging that we all get as we grow older. So if you want to minimize that effect and minimize the risk of skin cancer, wearing something with an SPF of 30 at least every day is a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you have any other tips for being safe in the sun when it comes to skin care? Yeah, so you want to make sure you're avoiding those peak sun hours. So between mm. 10 and 4, the sun is very high, very strong. Trying to get some shade during those times or wearing a hat, sunglasses, that type of thing. Um, other than that, just make sure that you're reapplying the sunscreen. So it's not enough just to have a good SPF right. 30 or higher. You really got to apply it, especially if you're sweating or in the water. And every two hours is about a good rule of thumb okay. to reapply. Good rule there. Now, if you do get a sunburn, what are some good ways to treat it? Because we've all been yes. there and it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, even, even myself, <laughs> right, believe it or not. Right. Um, so cool compresses can be really nice just to calm the skin. Um, a nice uh, aloe vera mm -hmm. uh, lotion is actually very soothing for the skin. Yes. Um, taking some ibuprofen can help with swelling, itching, pain if you get that. And then some topical over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream. Okay. It's just a very light um, steroid cream that can help with, again, the itching and the swelling that's associated. Um, and remember, Remember, drink a lot of water because mm. in essence, sunburn is dehydrating your skin. So replenishing that hydration is really important. Yeah, maybe sunburned. something you forget about too yes. when you know, you're yep. in the pool surrounded by water. But you got to make sure you're drinking, drinking water Drinking water yeah. as well. Yeah. All right, yeah. Dr. Shaw, where else can people find you? They can find me on Instagram at Wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right, thanks yep. as always. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. Coming up next, Andrew is in lacrosse with a look at how Southern Wisconsin's athletes did in the state track and field meet. Stick with us. You're watching Weekend Mornings. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. Steinhoffel's Memorial Day mattress sale is happening now. The new Temper Adapt is in stock and ready to get you the best night's sleep ever. Upgrade your sleep and save up to $500 on adjustable base sets. Tempur-Pedic Queen mattresses start at just $48 per month when you use Steinhoffel's 60-month financing. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. Nothing beats a great night's sleep on a new Tempur-Pedic from Steinhoffel's. If you're searching for the coziness of home within an assisted living community, rather than a sprawling campus, Home Again awaits you. Locally owned and operated, offering three convenient locations to serve you better. Home Again, living assisted. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Evie & Co. Boutique for Best Clothing Store. Vote for Evie & Co. Boutique and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Hooper for Best Plumber and Best Heating and Cooling. Vote for Hooper and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including StormGuard Roofing and Construction for Best Roofer, Best Window and Doors. Vote for StormGuard on madisonmagazine.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Best Western Premier Park Hotel for Best Hotel. Vote for Best Western Premier Park Hotel today. News 3 Now, winner of 27 awards of excellence from the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association, including News Operation of the Year and Station of the Year. We'll continue to strive for excellence every day to bring you the area's best local news coverage. News 3 Now. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. 
The nation's top call for action team is going strong at News 3 Now. With more than 160 cases closed and over $444,000 recovered. If you need help moving forward, call for action only on News 3 Now. News 3 Now, first warm weather is taking you beyond the barometer. Email your weather-related questions to firstwarn at wisctv.com and our team of meteorologists will give you the answers on News 3 Now, live at 4. The final day of the 2024 state track meet comes to a close with several new state champions coming from south and western Wisconsin. Our Andrew Bancher brings us the sights and sounds from the state meet. Welcome back to lacrosse for day two of state track. So many of our area athletes looking to be crowned state champions. Let's go look at who etched their names into the history books. And we will start in Division One with Verona's Nicole Repka in the 400 meter dash. Like this is my first year like running open events and like I didn't expect to get this far and I guess I was just really surprised. I was shocked. Staying in Division One, 400 meter dash, but over on the boys side, top seeded Caden Brandenburg from Janesville Parker holds on and becomes yet another first time state champion from our area. Still kind of setting in, but it's surreal. You trained for this like all four years of high school to be a state champ and something and finally did it. And now moving to Division Two, where Lakeside Lutheran had themselves a Saturday. We start with the 4x200, where the Quartet of Warriors brought home the W. In a final time of 127.60, it's a moment that Alex Reinke has pictured in his mind. Prior to the race, I had thoughts of maybe looking at the big screen, uh, but in the end, I decided not to. I thought it was better uh, keep my head down, go for the finish, and and it was uh, a very a well-earned run uh, from all the guys. Later in the day, and Lakeside still on top, this time at the 800-meter dash, and check out Karsten Grandal. Karsten and all of the Warriors' incredible performances earned them a Division II team state title. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it just, it's sweet. It's like the, probably the biggest goal I've had since like, even my freshman year, just like coming in with the lowest possible expectations and just seeing what happens. Staying in Division II, where Whitewater's Jack Hefty running the 1600 with strong strides, running his final lap in under 60 seconds, crowning himself a state champion. I mean, last year, I kind of like started to blow away like 300 to go. And I just like, I had a smile on my face. I was in the lead. And this year, I'm like, I'm like 70 to go. Owen's still ahead of me. I'm stressing out. Like, it was a lot of fun, though. And we finish in Division Three, where Abundant Life Christian putting Madison on the map. Check this out. Final 100 meters, and Jacob Stern makes the pass at the very last moment, cruising to the victory. And that will do it for 2024 State Track. We crowned so many champions on a weekend that our area athletes will never forget. In lacrosse, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. Don't miss A1 Furniture's Memorial Day Sale. $1 million in inventory must be sold. Two-piece sofa and love seat or sectional only $9.99. Recline. from $299. Lift recliners $9.99. No interest financing for 12 months. Only at A1 Furniture. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Beef Butter Barbecue for Best Barbecue, your number one choice for barbecue and catering. Vote online for Beef Butter Barbecue today. It's going to be another sizzling hot summer. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champion. We have saved 25 to 30% on our energy bill since installing the windows, which blew my mind. Stay cool and save 35% off new Champion windows. Plus, get an extra $100 off every window. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 35% off your new Champion windows and $100 off every window you buy. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Above Average Moving for Best Moving Company. Vote for Above Average Moving and all your favorites online today. 
Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Roth Cheese for Best Cheese Producer. Vote for Roth Cheese and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Floors for Less for Best Flooring. Vote for Floors for Less and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. It's A1 Furniture's Memorial Day Sale on now. Incredible prices on spring air mattresses. Queen size from $2.99. Get a free adjustable base with purchase of mattress $9.99 or more. Only at the A1 Furniture and Mattress Memorial Day Sale. Now at 7, we meet the cows and farmers who make possible our beloved milk and cheese here in the dairy state. And we are tracking a foggy end to your weekend. We're going to also track out some alert days coming up in the full forecast. Also following the proposed ceasefire in Gaza, protesters continue around the world. We'll share how it's having an impact on politicians as the tensions drag on. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings as we welcome in this new hour. I'm Kyle Bzorski. Blaze Keller is outside on the patio this morning giving us a look at what the day ahead will be like. Good morning, Blaze. Good morning. Well, as I mentioned, we are tracking some fog on this Sunday morning, but the good news is the fog and eventually that cloud cover will break up as we head further into your Sunday, giving us a little bit of sunshine as we look to end the weekend before kicking off our next work week. It's quiet on the radar and take a look at those temperatures waking up at 53 in Black River Falls, 58 there in Wisconsin Dell, 60 in Madison, closing in on Dane County, upper 50s to low 60s on this Sunday morning. Winds are light and our dew points and temperatures very close to each other and that's the reason why we have that fog. Nearly all of Wisconsin underneath some uh, dense fog advisory through about 9 o'clock this Sunday morning. So until then we're going to be dealing with this fog where some of us are down to about a quarter mile visibility or less. We get a little bit more visibility around Lone Rock and across Dane County but those of us especially along the Wisconsin River and along the Mississippi River dealing with this dense fog here for the next hour or so. All right, we're tracking some strong to severe storm possibilities as we look towards your Monday and Tuesday as well. Coming up later on this half hour, we're going to walk future track through your Monday and Tuesday, track out when the storms move in and out and what hazards they bring as well. All right, Blaze, thank you so much. Well, it wouldn't quite be Wisconsin without cheese, but do you know where your dairy is coming from? Perhaps not giving reason for Saturday's Cows on the Conquerors event in downtown Madison. The event kicked off June Dairy Month at the Dane County Farmers Market Saturday, giving people a chance to get to know the cows and farmers which make the dairy state so great. Braden Ross has the story. On a typical trip to the Dane County Farmers Market, you're guaranteed to see plenty of local dairy products. But June 1st is special. It's the start of June Dairy Month. And that means Farmers Market visitors were in for a treat. We brought cows to downtown Madison along with some other fun activities and grilled cheese to celebrate Dairy Month. Sydney Flick is a Lodi dairy farmer and a volunteer at this year's Cows on the Concourse event. We get to see such fun interaction, whether that's a, a kid getting to see a cow for the first time or an adult, and people make those connections. She says it's important for people to know where their food comes from, and this event is just one way to show them. By bringing the cows to the city, people get to make that connection to understand 
understand a little bit more of what farmers are doing and how important dairy is to our state. But just how important is dairy in Wisconsin? Well, the answer is very. The dairy industry brings in more than $45 billion a year for the Wisconsin economy. In fact, Wisconsin dairy farmers produce 25% of all cheese in the whole country. That makes Wisconsin number one in the U.S. when it comes to dairy production. So how can you help us stay on top? The biggest thing you can do to support local dairy farmers is buy Wisconsin dairy. If you look for the Wisconsin cheese logo, you're going to find it in every single grocery store. And you can tell, too, on milk gallons if it has a code 55 that was produced in Wisconsin. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Brayden, thank you. You can go find all sorts of Dairy Month fun uh, from upcoming events to unique recipes all online at wisconsindairy.org. Now let's move to a consumer alert. The FDA is issuing a warning about baby formula that could be contaminated with dangerous bacteria. The products are Cresolac infant powdered goat milk formula with iron, Farmalac baby powdered infant formula with iron, and Farmalac baby powdered infant formula with low lactose. The FDA is concerned the products may be contaminated with chronobacter and it can cause serious infections of the central nervous system, including sepsis and meningitis, as well as develop, de developmental problems or death. The FDA says it is working with the manufacturer to make sure the recall is carried out uh, safely. <coughs> and some health news, the nation may soon have another RSV vaccine in its toolkit ahead of the fall respiratory illness season. The FDA has approved Moderna's RSV's vaccine for people 60 and older. This will be the third FDA approved vaccine for RSV and the first mRNA vaccine among them. Moderna says the approval was based on clinical data that showed it was nearly 84% effective at preventing the virus about four months after getting the shot. The fall election is still roughly five months away, but Dane County already has a new face leading the community. Jamie Kuhn will serve as interim county executive until the November election. She, she sits down with political reporter Will Keneally this morning on For the Record, sharing that while five months isn't a long time to be leading the county, she says it's something she's looking forward to. Number one is we're going to be like rolling right into the budget. We're already getting to work on, on the budget for the county. It's an annual budget, so we'll start that process and, um, you know, that's that's a, a, a huge undertaking, um, which we'll get to go through during this five to six months. You can see more of our interview this morning at 1030 on For the Record, as well as a full breakdown of the political and legal implications of the Trump guilty verdict. Speaking of that verdict, of course, it is a historic one now throwing the presidential election into uncharted territory. CBS's Natalie Brand is in Washington with a state of what's to come. President Biden in Rehoboth Beach this weekend steered clear of Mr. politics President, Saturday, but didn't hold back Friday. And it's reckless, it's dangerous, and it's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. Responding to Trump's rambling Justice. remarks. We're living in a, in a fascist state. Uh, and false claims following his conviction in New York's so-called hush money trial. They are in total conjunction with the White House and the DOJ, just so you understand. Oh, Upside down flags, a symbol of protest adopted by the MAGA movement on display outside Trump Tower and posted on social media, including by country singer Jason Aldean and the conservative Heritage Foundation. Divisions are also widening on Capitol Hill. This is weaponization and lawfare at its peak. This was our tried and true criminal justice system playing out. Trump congressional ally and House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan has already written a letter calling on Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg to testify on Capitol Hill later this month. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Moving overseas, since President Biden's speech to the nation on Friday, there's been growing pressure on Israel to end the war against Hamas. In northern Minnesota on Saturday, the Twin Ports Democratic Socialists uh, hosted a rally and march for Palestine outside of the Duluth City Hall. It consisted of guest speakers representing Palestinian, indigenous, Muslim, and Jewish viewpoints. Elsewhere across the country, dueling protests took place on Saturday outside the Superior Colorado home of a University of Colorado regent. Pro-Palestinian supporters were calling for the university to divest from businesses supporting Israel. 
uh, counter protesters could also be seen there waving Israeli and U.S. flags. These are just a few examples of that pressure being put on Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He is now warning that there will be no permanent end to the war in Gaza until all the hostages are released and Hamas is out of power. CBS's Itamaz Taib is in Tel Aviv with the latest. Israelis took to the streets of Tel Aviv in their thousands, demanding Prime Minister Netanyahu not back away from his own government's proposal for a ceasefire and a return of the hostages. President Biden, please help us, save them. In a statement, Hamas said it was ready to engage positively with the three-phase proposal, but only if Israel clearly announces commitment to such a deal. CBS News asked Palestinians in Gaza what they thought about the potential agreement. We are hoping there will be action this time, and not just talk, said Ayad Daou. This speech by the American president gave us hope, said Abdel Hadi Farhan, hope to return to our homes. After nearly eight months of devastating violence, over two million Palestinians, almost all of Gaza's population has been displaced. And Israeli forces now in the heart of the southern city of Rafa. Sam Rose speaks for the UN's agency for Palestinians, UNRWA. What is it like where you are in Rafa right now? It's deeply troubling, it's deeply upsetting. Personally, it leaves me quite sick and quite fearful. The uncertainty, the, the senselessness and the helplessness of all of this and really not knowing what, what, not just knowing what may come next, but that what comes next is by no means going to be the end to any of this. NPS Times, CBS News, Tel Aviv. Still ahead, a look in entertainment news, including Megan Thee Stallion. She canceled some shows this weekend. We'll tell you why. And let's take a live look outside again at the Capitol building. Blaze will have another check at the forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. At Wendy's, you can get An English muffin and seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. With a light and fluffy toasted muffin. And crispy potatoes, love. Ooh. This is my breakfast. Yes, yes it is. She bought it. Grab a proper $3 Wendy's breakfast for a limited time. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Graham's Auto and Truck Clinic for Best Non-Dealer Auto Service Shop. Vote for Graham's Auto and Truck Clinic on madisonmagazine.com. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Oak Park Dental for Best Dental Practice. Vote online for Oak Park Dental and all your favorites today. Now, don't you worry. I'm going to take real good care of your window. You need the experts at Feldco. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows and no interest until 2026. Plus, we'll get it done Feldco fast so you can enjoy your new windows all summer long. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. When migraine strikes, do you question the trade-offs of treating? Ubrelvi is another option. It works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to Ubrelvi can happen. Most common side effects were nausea and sleepiness. Ask about Ubrelvi. I'm engaged and I'm getting married next April. If I hadn't done Invisalign, I probably would be dreading the wedding photos, which is not how you want to feel going into your wedding day. <laughs> Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Because beauty excites. It energizes. It drops our jaws. Dilates our eyes. Makes us look twice. A beautiful home, a beautiful life, is something we create. And we can start right now at Floor & Decor. Save during the big Hy-Vee brand sale. Three days only, this Friday through Sunday. Hy-Vee large eggs, just $1.49. Hy-Vee waffles, just $1.48. Hy-Vee bacon, just $3.98. 
party size high V chips, just $1.98. High V peanut butter, just $1.68. And high V coffee, just $3.48. Don't miss the big high V brand sale. Three days only, this Friday through Sunday. Welcome back on this Sunday morning. We are dealing with fog across Wisconsin. You can see it here on our Edgewater Tower Cam looking towards downtown Madison. Not only do we have the fog because our dew point and our temperature are very close, but we're also dealing with some cloudy conditions as well. And that's going to be breaking up not only the fog, but the clouds as we head further into your Sunday. So by the afternoon, we'll hopefully see a little bit more sunshine before we end the weekend and then all go back to work on Monday. Quiet on the radar on this Sunday morning. Again, there is that dense fog advisory across most of southern Wisconsin and now into parts of northern Illinois and parts of Iowa and Minnesota. At least for us here in, uh, in Wisconsin, that goes until 9 a.m. Some of those uh, visibilities are very low, especially Platteville, Bosco Bell. We're looking at about a quarter mile or less visibility in Decorah in Iowa. La Crosse, we're at quarter mile visibility, no visibility in Black River Falls, as well as in Juneau. A little bit better once you get into Lone Rock and Madison, but this patchy fog is not expected to lift until we get into about the 9, maybe 10 o'clock hour. Once our temperatures start to pull away from our dew points. Speaking of temperatures, most of us in the mid to upper 50s to low 60s, a little bit cooler in Black River Falls, we're at 53 degrees. Wanakee, 61, same with those of us in Middleton, 59 in Stoughton, 60 in Mount Horror, 59 in Perry. All right, future track is going to take us through the rest of your Sunday. Again, the fog will eventually lift and that cloud cover will break apart as well as we head into the afternoon. That's going to allow for some sunshine. Winds are going to be light and eventually turning out of the southeast. That's going to help our temperatures, even with some of that cloud cover, climb into the 70s, if not the low 80s. By overnight, maybe introducing a shower, especially farther to the west. But as we look into your Monday and Tuesday, that's when we see another low pressure system coming out of the plains. That's going to bring some of us the chance for some severe storms as we head into our Monday. And then we'll watch as another cold front begins to move out of Canada as we go into Tuesday. That's going to bring us across mainly northwestern portions of Wisconsin that chance for severe weather into your Tuesday. So we have two alert days, Monday and Tuesday. For most of central and southern Wisconsin, strong to severe storms are possible, as I just mentioned. Wind and hail are going to be really our main threats, but we can never really rule out an isolated weak tornado threat. So make sure you're staying weather aware as we kick off our next work week. But take a look at what the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting long range for not only uh, Wisconsin, but a lot of the Midwest. Cooler than average temperatures. Now the darker the blue, the better chance for cooler temperatures, not necessarily the darker blue, the colder we get, uh, but it does look like we're going to be kicking off June on maybe the cooler than average side here over the next few weeks. So for folks who maybe aren't quite ready for that summer heat and humidity, that is some good news there. Upper 70s to low 80s to end the work uh, to end the weekend. Rather, let's take a look at that uh, seven and 10 day forecast for the Madison area. Two alert days uh, that should be Monday and Tuesday. I'll switch that here, but once we get beyond Thursday, we are are quiet really and those very comfortable temperatures in those 70s. There's a look at that 10 day forecast for those of us in the lacrosse area. All right, Blaze, thank you for that. Now to some entertainment news. Uh, Moana 2 is already setting records. 178 million people viewed the first teaser trailer for the animated sequel in its first 24 hours online. That's more than uh, for any other trailer in Walt Disney Animation Studio and Pixar history. The movie opens in theaters on November 27th. Two huge water main breaks in Atlanta caused rapper Megan Thee Stallion to cancel her shows this weekend. She was supposed to perform on both Friday and Saturday night. Friday's show has been postponed until today, and workers are making progress with their prayers. As of Saturday evening, they fixed one of the two main pipes that broke. The town of Jefferson, Iowa will be decked out in pink for the month of June. One of the largest collections of Barbie dolls in the U.S. is coming to their town. And all more than a thousand will be on display. Reporter Eric Hansen has more. Jefferson is known for its bells, but on Greene County Square, the color pink is taking over because of the newcomer. Yes, we have a lot of pink. Moving in right across from the courthouse. She's anything but a wildflower pushover. Rita's decorating an entire building for the gal everyone around here has known since childhood. Well, I had one 
Barbie doll. I had the Ken, which made me extremely popular in our neighborhood. Most girls grew up with a Barbie or two, but when a Jefferson native asked if her hometown wanted her collection, they had no idea how comprehensive it was. It was close to 600 dolls that she brought. Flight attendant Barbie landed here alongside Wizard of Oz Barbie and Olympic gymnast Barbie. A donation so big, Jefferson suddenly needed to think out of the box. But the proud thing for these folks is that they're all in the box. So they're working with a local designer to turn a storefront. This is a first. Into Barbie's world. We needed a big space for the almost 600 Barbies. But they didn't stop there. The store windows are pink. We've got a very pinkified downtown right now. It is very pink. Jefferson City Council even passed a pink resolution. Whereas the Barbie doll has become an icon of history. In because a block away from the 600 new Barbies are 400 more vintage Barbies that have been in Greene County Historical Society's collection for decades. Combined, Jefferson's now home to a thousand Barbie dolls. We might be the only community that has something like this, certainly in Iowa. And all June? We want people to see this collection. To celebrate the cultural icon so powerful, she can take over an entire town square. If you come here, you're going to see something that you might not see in a lifetime. Join me in the 608 weekdays on News 3 Now This Morning. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Hooper for Best Plumber and Best Heating and Cooling. Vote for Hooper and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. If you're searching for the coziness of home within an assisted living community rather than a sprawling campus, Home Again awaits you. Locally owned and operated, offering three convenient locations to serve you better. Home Again, living assisted. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Urso Builders for Best Home Builders. Vote for Urso Builders and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. I have prepared a Thomas's breakfast for you to savor together. Thanks, Tom. Hey, are English muffins from England? Heavens no. They're from the pantry. Are you from England? Nay, I am also from the pantry. Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. Every week it costs more to feed my family. Prices are just out of control. Boy, inflation is really hurting us. It's got to stop. Career politicians like Biden and Baldwin just don't get it. They're making things harder for folks here in Wisconsin. By stopping the crazy spending that caused inflation and cutting red tape, we can bring prices down. It's time for a change. I'm Eric Covdy. I approve this message. I'll get the job done for Wisconsin families. Best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back. Shoppers are feeling a little more confident and some car owners are being told to stop driving their cars. Christine Lazar explains in this Eye and Consumer Report. Nissan is issuing a do not drive warning to the owners of more than 80,000 vehicles made between 2002 and 2006 because of the airbags. 
The company says the recalled Takata airbag inflators could explode in a crash and propel dangerous metal fragments. The recall affects certain older models of the Nissan Sentra, Pathfinder and Infiniti QX4. Owners can get the inflators repaired for free at a Nissan dealer. U.S. consumer confidence is up, surprising economists that predicted a drop. The conference board, a business research group, says the index rose in May after three straight months of declines. Despite the result, many Americans say they continue to worry about inflation and the possibility of a recession. Consumers can find some lower prices at Walgreens. The retailer says it's cutting prices on 1,300 items from vitamins to hand cream. The move comes after other major retailers, including Target, announced price cuts. And those are some of the week's top consumer stories. I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. And we are tracking some quiet conditions on the radar, but what we're not tracking in the terms of quiet conditions is fog. Unfortunately, we're dealing with fog on this Sunday morning. All of us in the gray underneath the dense fog advisory through 9 o'clock on this Sunday morning. There is a look at the current visibilities. Most of us are at or below a half mile visibility, but we do find it kind of a, a, an area without fog stretching from Dane County back into parts of Iowa County there along the Wisconsin River in and around Lone Rock. Again, that dense fog advisory goes until 9 o'clock so at the very least that fog is not expected to lift until at least nine o'clock with temperatures sitting in the 50s and 60s on this Sunday. We do have an alert day two of them Monday and Tuesday of next week. We're looking at most of southern Wisconsin on Monday and then that shifts back to the northwest on Tuesday. Wind and hail are going to be the main threats but we cannot rule out an isolated tornado so make sure that you're staying weather aware as we kick off your next work week. There's a look at your 10 day forecast for the Madison area and for the La Crosse area as well. We're looking at a cooler second half to your upcoming work week with temperatures in the low 70s by next weekend. We'll hang out in the upper 70s to low 80s through Wednesday of next week. Thank you, Blaze. Now to some positive news. It was a hero's welcome in Paris on Saturday as American veterans arrived to take part in ceremonies marking 80 years since the D-Day invasion. More than 16 million Americans served in the Second World War, with only about 100,000 still alive. The challenge now is teaching their stories to a new generation. Barry Peterson shows how they hope to change that. There are no D-Day stories easy to hear. Clarence Robeson was staggering by me without his helmet, gaping all in the left side of his forehead. His blonde hair was streaked with blood. Harold Baumgartner was in the first wave. They got machine gunned in the water. So we were losing men right and left. The water was full of blood. Memories preserved at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. Steve Ellis served on an invasion landing craft in the Pacific and shared his story with seniors from Holy Cross High School. That first time in combat, do you remember being nervous or do you feel like your training had prepared you for that moment or what were your feelings going into that? For me and I think most of my contemporaries, when we were in combat, no nerves at all, just doing your job. Does anyone remember how they were made? Michael Arvidas teaches them about the war. I think that story is vital for them in the future in a world that is ever changing, uh, that has threats that are new and some threats that are old. To reach younger generations, the museum sends course programs to schools around the country and has immersive exhibits like this one on the war in the Pacific. This is a C-47. It was a plane like this that my father, Kermit, flew in World War II, dropping paratroops over enemy lines. I want people to remember his and other stories because it's been a long time. Younger generations may not know my grandchildren will never know my father. He'll always only ever be a picture in a frame. Because if new generations don't know what these men and women did and suffered and died for, my father and all the others may one day be forgotten. Barry Peterson, CBS News, New Orleans. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Graham's Auto and Truck Clinic for Best Non-Dealer Auto Service Shop. Vote for Graham's Auto and Truck Clinic on MadisonMagazine.com. 
Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Oak Park Dental for Best Dental Practice. Vote online for Oak Park Dental and all your favorites today. Bad sleep? The worst. There's really no excuse for bad sleep. During the extended Memorial Day sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every 1000 you spend and watch the savings stack up. Or check out the Summit Easy on the Wallet for only $299.99. Save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, plus six years no interest and free shipping. Hurry, the extended Memorial Day sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Badgerland, Dex, and Construction for Best Home Builders and Best Outdoor Living and Services. Vote for Badgerland, Dex, and Construction today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Buck and Honey's for Best Restaurant, Best Catering, Best New Restaurant, and Best Outdoor Dining. Vote online for Buck and Honey's today. Why Vitruvian Farms? Organic vegetables and mushrooms, and they're fresh, really fresh, will deliver to you or shop right on the farm. Vitruvian Farms, just outside Madison. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Diamond Select for Best Jeweler. Vote online for Diamond Select and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. Black cats, when I start singing, they be like, what is happening? Being black understands. I sing around George, he doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Plus, he performs his new single. And ESPN's Malika Andrews. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. And then on the next Live at 4, Will Loper takes a look at the new movies that debuted this weekend. And we go behind the wheel with Harvey Briggs in a $500,000 electric Rolls Royce. On the next Live at 4. Right now, what was set to be a historic space mission from Boeing being scrubbed Saturday when it could eventually take off. Plus, a massive solar project in Grant County was completed this past month. We get a tour with the project's lead and what area residents think about the site. And a foggy Sunday morning blazes in this morning as we wake up with some dense fog in parts of the area. We'll time it out as we begin this final half hour of weekend mornings. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. It is Sunday, June 2nd. Again, let's take a look outside this morning. Blaze is outside. Blaze, it has been a morning spending with it with you. Uh, let's get through this last half hour <laughs> with another check of the forecast. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, I, I just kind of started here at Channel 3, so I'm kind of doing all the shifts, it seems like. And on this Sunday morning, my welcome to Weekend Mornings fog. That dense fog advisory sticking around for most of southern Wisconsin here uh, and really central Wisconsin for that matter through 9 o'clock. The good news is at least we're not waking up to any showers or thunderstorms. We certainly don't need any more rain, uh, but we are going to get some chances here as we head into the start of the next work week. But at least we stay dry today. 50s and 60s as we're kicking off this Sunday morning. A little bit cooler towards Black River Falls. For most of Dane County, we're in those upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. There's a look at all of the Wisconsin counties underneath that dense fog advisory. So anybody in the gray that goes until 9 a.m. So at least until 9, we're going to be dealing with this uh, dense fog, especially along the Mississippi River, stretching from La Crosse all the way south into Dubuque, along the Wisconsin River towards the Wisconsin Dells, back into Atoma, all the way south into Bosco Bell as well. We do get a little bit of a break from that fog, Monroe, Janesville, Madison and uh, Lone Rock there. But again, that fog lifts around 9 o'clock. Then we see some partly sunny conditions. But then we turn our attention to Monday and Tuesday of next week. Kyle and folks at home, we are going to be tracking out uh, these two uh, alert days, what hazards they bring in the timing coming up later on in this half hour. All right, Blaze, thank you. 
Moving to our top stories now, the historic launch of Boeing Starliner spacecraft was scrubbed on Saturday. NASA says an automatic hold triggered by the computer, which launches the rocket, stopped the, count, uh, the countdown clock at 3 minutes and 50 seconds ahead of the launch. The cause of the automatic hold has not been made clear. Some hopeful to see the Starliner launch were left disappointed as the next launch opportunity for today was also canceled. The following possible dates are on Wednesday and on Thursday. Here, Madison June Dairy Month kicked off Saturday with cows on the concourse at the Dane County Farmers Market. The Dane County Dairy uh, took to the Capitol Square to give people a chance to get to know anything they wanted about cows and the farmers which make the dairy state so great. Sydney Flick is a Lodi dairy farmer and a volunteer at this year's Cows on the Concourse event. We get to see such fun interaction, whether that's a, a kid getting to see a cow for the first time or an adult, and people make those connections. In total, the Wisconsin dairy industry brings in more than $45 billion per year to the state economy. This year's theme for cows on the concourse was Cowabunga Let's Party. Also yesterday in La Crosse, the 12th annual Kids Free Fishing Day took place at Chad Erickson Memorial Park. With rods, reels, and bait provided, children of all ages were given the opportunity to immerse themselves in the joys of outdoors activities. The event was organized by the Union Sportsmen's Alliance, and a total of 125 kids and parents participated. To an update now, over the past two years, Alliant Energy has been working to build its largest solar array to date in Grant County. This past week, we got an inside look at the completed project and how Alliant says the site adds to the work to diversify their energy resources. Aerial footage shows the impressive scale of the 1,400 acres worth of solar fields north of Potosi. Until you see one of these sites, uh, you don't really realize how uh, how impressive it is. At 200 megawatts and with more than 430,000 panels, the Grant County Solar Project is Alliance's largest array to date. The utility began construction in September of 2022, completing work this past month. Giving me a tour is Tim Kreft, a senior manager of strategic projects at Alliance. I could talk about solar all, on, 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 all day. He tells me the work done here means a lot to all involved. Getting to completion on the last one uh, is really a milestone for the company. It's a milestone for me personally as well. Standing on what used to be fields owned by local farmers for decades, and some even for more than a century, Kreft tells me the work not only creates more renewable energy, but also helps out area landowners. This is done through acquiring leases with those landowners, each lasting roughly 30 years. Alliance says this supplies a steady stream of money during that time. Once the lease expires, Alliant is obligated to then remove the panels, return the land to the owners, who can then decide to farm again or use for other purposes. And he says this helps those farmers who may have begun to see smaller yields as well as others looking to retire. Instead of uh, growing crops and getting paid for growing crops, they're getting paid for growing uh, solar energy. The move has been met with praise by some and dismay by others. Participating landowner Dave Fritz says he's seen the benefits of the project firsthand, helping landowners diversify their income. Meanwhile, County Board Member Lester Jansen is not as sold. Seems like they only can take out the prime crop ground, and that concerns me down the road. Because if they take out too much of our prime crop ground, this uh, country could get a little hungry. While the feedback hasn't all been good, Kreft says his hope is Alliant will work to build the trust of the skeptics through good business practices, knowing they intend to be around for many years to come. And we expect to be in business for another 100 years. That means we try to be very good stewards of the land and, and stewards of the communities that we serve. Alliant additionally tells us work to build the Grant County Array employed more than 700 workers, adding to the economic impact created by the project. Coming up next here on Weekend Mornings, Shane Hogan sits down with Dr. Shaw for a health conversation on summer sun burns. Stick with us. Hi, it's Preston with Window World, your locally owned and nationally known window company located right here in Madison. Come see what our Window World family can do for your next remodel. It's time to let go and move on to something better. At Window World, get a beautiful new patio door professionally installed for just $3,700. do not wait any longer. Visit windowworldmadison.com or call us today. Save during the big Hy-Vee brand sale. Three days only, this Friday through Sunday. 
Hy-Vee Large Eggs, just $1.49. Hy-Vee Waffles, just $1.48. Hy-Vee Bacon, just $3.98. Party Size Hy-Vee Chips, just $1.98. Hy-Vee Peanut Butter, just $1.68. And Hy-Vee Coffee, just $3.48. Don't miss the big Hy-Vee brand sale. Three days only, this Friday through Sunday. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including the Dell Bar for Best Restaurant and four other exciting categories in food and drink. Vote for the Dell Bar on madisonmagazine.com. Best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk, institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Beauty drops our jaws, dilates our eyes, and beauty is something we can create right now at Florin Decor. When migraine strikes, do you question the trade-offs of treating? Ubrelvi is another option. It works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to Ubrelvi can happen. Most common side effects were nausea and sleepiness. Ask about Ubrelvi. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Evie & Co. Boutique for Best Clothing Store. Vote for Evie & Co. Boutique and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what really matters when you need help after a serious truck accident. You'll need a lawyer experienced in fighting and winning for people just like you. Gruber Law Offices has the resources, strong track record of success, and a team of experienced lawyers to take care of your needs. We've successfully helped people injured in big truck accidents for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Welcome back. We are dealing with some fog on this Sunday morning for most of Wisconsin. Anybody there in the gray underneath the dense fog advisory through 9 a.m. So that includes all of really southern Wisconsin central and even into northern Wisconsin as fog visibilities up to maybe a few miles around Camp Douglas, but most of us at or below a half mile visibility. Platteville, Bosco Bell, Purdue, north along the Mississippi into La Crosse, Black River Falls, Wisconsin, Dells, Watoma. We are at or below that kind of mile visibility threshold. A little bit better towards Lone Rock, Mineral Point, and Madison at this hour. As temperatures are starting out in those upper 50s to low 60s for the most part, but for those of us in Black River Falls, we just climbed there from 53 to 54, so a little bit on the cooler side on this Sunday morning. Two alert days, Monday and Tuesday of next week, but take a look at our temperatures after Thursday in the low 70s, and that's where we stay as we kick off next week as or the week following that after. Uh, so again, we are anticipating some cooler temperatures as we look beyond that seven day forecast, but for the most part, again, stay weather aware Monday, Tuesday, as we could see some severe weather. Thank you, Blaze. Well, it might not feel like it today, but the official start of summer is only a few weeks away. And with it brings more and more of those hot days in the sun. In this morning's health conversation, Shane Hogan sits down with Dr. Rupa Shah to talk about ways to keep your skin from getting burnt. Summer is the time for beach days, pool parties, and vacations. But before you head outdoors, remember to take care of your skin because too much sun exposure can have some detrimental effects such as sunburn, skin aging, eye damage, and even skin cancer. SSM Health Family Medicine Physician and Wellness Coach Dr. Rupa Shah joins me today to talk about summer skin care. Some good reminders here. So, Dr. Shah, what should people look for when choosing a sunscreen? So most people look at, you know, the SPF label, mm -hmm. which is the most common and one of the most important things you should be looking at. You want sure. at least SPF 30 to okay. get a good like 97% protection from the uh, sun rays. However, the other thing you should be looking for is that you want to pick a broad spectrum sunscreen. So that protects you from the UVA and the UVB rays, okay. which are important. So that way you get full coverage from all the different uh, light sources out there. Yeah, and yeah. you know, it's... I don't want to say a trend because it's a health thing, but we hear a lot, especially on social media, 
people should be putting sunscreen on every single day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do you agree with that assessment? And why should people be more concerned than, you know, just maybe putting on their moisturizer for the day? Yeah, so, I mean, even, you know, on cloudy days, there are UVA and UVB rays out there, and you can get some sun damage mm -hmm. even just from that. So it's really important to protect yourself every single day, not just in the summer and sunny days, right. um, but it just um, decreases that photo aging that we all get as we grow older. So if you want to minimize that effect and minimize the risk of skin cancer, wearing something with an SPF of 30 at least every day is a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you have any other tips for being safe in the sun when it comes to skin care? Yeah, so you want to make sure you're avoiding those peak sun hours. So between mm. 10 and 4, the sun is very high, very strong. Trying to get some shade during those times or wearing a hat, sunglasses, that type of thing. Um, other than that, just make sure that you're reapplying the sunscreen. So it's not enough just to have a good SPF right. 30 or higher. You really got to apply it, especially if you're sweating or in the water. And every two hours is about a good rule of thumb okay. to reapply. Good rule there. Now, if you do get a sunburn, what are some good ways to treat it? Because we've all been yes. there and it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, even, even myself, <laughs> right, believe it or not. Right. Um, so cool compresses can be really nice just to calm the skin. Um, a nice uh, aloe vera mm -hmm. uh, lotion is actually very soothing for the skin. Yes. Um, taking some ibuprofen can help with swelling, itching, pain if you get that. And then some topical over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream. Okay. It's just a very light um, steroid cream that can help with, again, the itching and the swelling that's associated. Um, and remember, Remember, drink a lot of water because mm. in essence, sunburn is dehydrating your skin. So replenishing that hydration is really important. Yeah, maybe sunburned. something you forget about too yes. when you know you're yep. in the pool surrounded by water. But you gotta make sure you're drinking, drinking water. Drinking water yeah. as well. Yeah. All right, yeah. Dr. Shaw, where else can people find you? They can find me on Instagram at wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right, thanks yep. as always. Thank you. First worn weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. Now don't you worry. I'm going to take real good care of your windows. You need the experts at Feldco. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows and no interest until 2026. Plus, we'll get it done Feldco fast so you can enjoy your new windows all summer long. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for feldco Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Beef Butter Barbecue for Best Barbecue, your number one choice for barbecue and catering. Vote online for Beef Butter Barbecue today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Hooper for Best Plumber and Best Heating and Cooling. Vote for Hooper and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Best Western Premier Park Hotel for Best Hotel. Vote for Best Western Premier Park Hotel today. The, the whole process was just so easy. The insulation crew was extremely professional. And efficient. Yes. They were like there and gone. It's, it's definitely convincing when you see it in front of you of what your savings are going to be. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We are waking up to some fog on this Sunday morning. The good news is 
we will eventually see that fog lift and maybe even some sunshine return by later this afternoon. We are tracking two alert days as we head into the start of your next work week, both Monday and Tuesday, as a couple of weak low pressure systems move through the Midwest. This morning, other than that fog, we're not tracking a whole lot in the way on our radar. There is a look at all the counties across not only Wisconsin, but parts of Iowa, Illinois, and Minnesota underneath that dense fog advisory that goes until 9 a.m. So anybody in the gray, you're going to be dealing with uh, at times very low visibility due to this fog beginning to break up though uh, in parts of Columbia County, Dane County, as well as Iowa and parts of Sauk and Richland County. But we're continuing to see lower visibilities in parts of Dodge and Jefferson County into Monroe along the Mississippi River from Platteville and Dubuque north into La Crosse, even into Black River Falls down to about a quarter mile visibility or less. So again, with that dense fog advisory through nine o'clock, our temperatures and our dew points because they're close to each other right now, they're not expected to really uh, break apart. Our temperatures aren't expected to climb until starting about nine o'clock. So that fog is going to be sticking around as temperatures start out in those mid to upper 50s, few low 60s in the Bosco Bell area, Lone Rock, Madison as well. Closer into Dane County, Verona, Mount Hora, Belleville, to name a few areas, McFarland and Wanakee. We're in that 60 club right around 60 to 61 degrees. We're going to stay quiet for the rest of really your Sunday. Again, cloud cover is expected to break up maybe a shower or two overnight, but then a weak low pressure system brings our first chance for severe weather, our first alert day on Monday, and then we turn our attention back to the northwest for folks in the La Crosse area, parts of Vernon County, as well as uh, Crawford County underneath that marginal risk on Tuesday as a cold front swings on through here. We could see more of central Wisconsin and southern Wisconsin added into that severe threat Tuesday, so we're going to have an alert day for both days, and that's going to be for mainly wind and hail but we cannot rule out an isolated weak tornado either day. So make sure you're staying with uh, weather aware through both days uh, and tuning into News 3 now for the latest weather updates. So upper 70s to low 80s for your Sunday ending the weekend on the warm note. And we're going to stay warm as we go into Tuesday of next week as well. But then we start to cool on down. Actually, we're expecting cooler than average temperatures as we head into these first few days of June. That really begins on Thursday of next week, not only for the Madison area, but for the La Crosse area as well. We're headed into those mid 70s as we look to wrap up this upcoming work week. Please, thank you. Well, the final day of the 2024 state track meet comes to a close with several new state champions coming from south and western Wisconsin. Our Andrew Banster brings us the sights and sounds from the state meet. Welcome back to lacrosse for day two of state track. So many of our area athletes looking to be crowned state champions. Let's go look at who etched their names into the history books. And we will start in Division One with Verona's Nicole Repka in the 400 meter dash. Like this is my first year like running open events and like I didn't expect to get this far and I guess I was just really surprised. I was shocked. Staying in Division One, 400 meter dash, but over on the boys side, top seeded Caden Brandenburg from Janesville Parker holds on and becomes yet another first time state champion from our area. Still kind of setting in, but it's surreal. You train for this like all four years of high school to be a state champ and something and finally did it. And now moving to Division Two, where Lakeside Lutheran had themselves a Saturday. We start with the 4x200, where the Quartet of Warriors brought home the W. In a final time of 127.60, it's a moment that Alex Reinke has pictured in his mind. Prior to the race, I had thoughts of maybe looking at the big screen, uh, but in the end, I decided not to. I thought it was better uh, keep my head down, go for the finish, and and it was uh, a very a well-earned run uh, from all the guys. Later in the day, and Lakeside still on top, this time at the 800-meter dash, and check out Karsten Grandal. Karsten and all of the Warriors' incredible performances earned them a Division II team state title. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it just, it's sweet. It's like the, probably the biggest goal I've had since like, even my freshman year, just like coming in with the lowest possible expectations and just seeing what happens. Staying in Division Two, where Whitewater's Jack Hefty running the 1600 with strong strides, running his final lap in under 60 seconds crowning himself a state champion. I mean, last year I kind of like started to blow away like 300 to go. And I just like, I had a smile on my face. I was in the lead and this year I'm like, 
I'm like 70 to go. Owen's still ahead of me. I'm stressing out. Like, it was a lot of fun, though. And we finish in Division Three, where Abundant Life Christian putting Madison on the map. Check this out. Final 100 meters, and Jacob Stern makes the pass at the very last moment cruising to the victory. And that will do it for 2024 State Track. We crowned so many champions on a weekend that our area athletes will never forget. In lacrosse, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. Thank you, Andrew. Still ahead, Blaze will have one final check at today's forecast. Plus, here's a look at what's coming up later on For the Record. Coming up this morning on For the Record, a one-on-one -on -one sit down with the interim Dane County Executive. Plus we break down the political and legal implications of the verdict in the Trump criminal trial this week as Republicans head to Milwaukee for their National Party Convention this summer. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. Hi, it's Preston with Window World, your locally owned and nationally known window company located right here in Madison. Come see what our Window World family can do for your next remodel. Get a house full of Window World windows for just $90 a month. That's 10 4,000 series award-winning windows fully installed and warranted for life. Visit windowworldmadison.com or call us today. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Summer House, Grill and Bar for Best Outdoor Dining, Best Place with a View, and Best Bloody Mary. Vote for Summer House, Grill and Bar on MadisonMagazine.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Level Up Plumbing for Best Plumber. Vote for Level Up Plumbing and all your favorites on MadisonMagazine.com. Ah, uh, taking the time to savor Thomas's crunchy yet soft bagels. Thanks, Tom. It's a uh, Tom, actually. Right, Tom. 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 You doing that on purpose? Tom. Tom. How have we got to town? Huzzah! A toast to breakfast. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. It's held over up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals like this great looking reclining sofa with power just $7.27 or a great wicker sectional for spring just $8.99. How about a comfy recliner with lots of storage and so much more. But hurry it ends soon. Up to 60% off list at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. You have a consumer issue, and you keep getting the runaround. It was just a total nightmare. What you need is an advocate. It's call for action to help me. Nobody else did. News 3 Now's call for action team has the experience and resources to get results. He was able to accomplish in a couple months what we couldn't accomplish in four years. Need help? Contact us by phone or on channel3000.com. Call for action, only on News 3 Now. Moving forward for you. Welcome back. Here's Blaze now with the final check of your on Sunday forecast. <laughs> Saturday. We're almost to Monday already. <laughs> yes, we are. We got that dense fog advisory through 9 a.m. for anybody there in the gray, which is pretty much all of Wisconsin at this point. Then we turn our attention to our alert days, both Monday and Tuesday. Strong to severe storms possible both days and both bring the chance for not only strong winds and hail, but also an isolated tornado threat, too. So make sure you're staying weather aware as we kick off our next work week. 70s and 80s today. Here's a look at the, uh, the seven and 10 day forecast for the Madison area. Low 70s starting on Thursday after a rainy first half of next week. And there is your seven and 10 day forecast for the lacrosse area. Rain wraps up Wednesday and then we're sitting dry as we head into the upcoming weekend. Thank you, Blaze. Thank you all for watching. Have a great Sunday, folks.